Cavalier versus Priest. Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Watch your back. Wonder if I'm supposed to keep Burgerly Bully against Priest. Let's try it. His name is too much value, so let's hope he's a slow control deck. Because I have a slow opening hand. Get the dagger going. There's some potential that I'll have to eviscerate dagger to kill the cleric next turn. Glimmer root. Let's just kill this Glimmer Root so I don't take too much damage. Those priests with all their damage. Let the pain speak to me. Let's go ahead and coin out a bully here. Yeah, I'm wasting a coin with an auctioneer in hand. But bully gets me more coins and it lets me beat up his card draw stuff. Thanks for the coin. Looks like this guy's gonna draw some cards here, huh? Wonder if I'm willing to play a second bully this turn. It gives him some potential to force me to overdraw, but the coins are so juicy in my deck, like maybe even if I overdraw I don't really care. Plus, it's another 4-6 to put on the board. Didn't really have, like, any other play there. Could have comboed the Eviscerate to kill the Cleric or something, but that seems pretty weak. I also didn't really need to kill his card draw stuff, because he has so many cards in his hand. Uh, I could have made him overdraw with his Acolyte, huh? Probably should have done that, but whatever. Okay, as far as Glimmer Root cards go, that's a little bit underwhelming. Looks like he's going to try to make me overdraw. Does he not know how good these coins are? I kind of hope he doesn't make me overdraw though, like real talk. But I guess if I can draw like 10 cards with Auctioneer next turn, maybe I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully that's not like a power word shield that he just picked up. Oh no, I lost a coin! Oh, that's actually good. I got a real coin instead of a counterfeit one. So I think I'm gonna draw my deck here. Does that sound like fun? I wonder if I can play this Arcane Giant for free this turn. Um, nine cards in hand. I actually can't play the Razor Petal Volley. Let's go with the Hallucination. This will put me up to ten. Harold Village, so many coins. Probably just want a Power Word Shield, though. Um, we can backstab the Cleric. Play a Swashburglar. Play another Swashburglar. Alright, I drew some cards there. And I did play into a Dragonfire Potion, like a tiny bit. But that's okay. Powered Shield this guy. Wait, is he dead here? Did I just miss lethal? 13... No, I don't have mana for like Razor Petals plus the Kobold. Okay, I think I'm good. So many, options. so many cards in my hand. What do I do with all these cards? 
I don't want to burn the coin because I want to use it with Malagos on turn 10 if I can, but this might not be a Malagos game. It's so hard to get everything out of my hand, though. Do I have to eviscerate his face? Fuck you. Eat my eviscerate. I only have 8 cards in my hand now, but the Crystalline Oracle can make me overdraw. So I had to get the eviscerate out of my hand. Could have burned a coin there, but coin is too good. Who plays Doomsayer? Do I have lethal here? I can play Evolved Kobold and like a bunch of Razor Petals. I can play three. Yeah, so that's lethal, right? Nice. I was really hoping I could like coin out Malagos there and backstab his Doomsayer and the Malagos would live and then I could like Herald Village him. But sometimes you just gotta kill him when you can. Oh, I don't like playing against Paladins with this deck. Do I keep Eviscerate? Oh, I think I need an early opener. Need like Swashburglar and Razor Petal Lasher, that kind of stuff. Well, I got the Eviscerate anyway, so if he plays an early War Leader, I suppose I am prepared for it. There's my boy Swashburglar. Adaptation. Probably do not want to coin that out. Although there were some pretty good results there. Plus one, plus one was actually nuts on the patches. Well, maybe not nuts, but it was pretty good. Oh, sick order, bro. Let's try adapting the Swashburglar, and I think I'm going to coin and eviscerate. Poisonous and Divine Shield do pretty much the same thing here, don't they? Poisonous lets me kill the 1-3 without having to use the Eviscerate. I could, like, coin Dagger if I wanted to, or just hold and use the Dagger next turn. Well, let's definitely take Poisonous. And let's coin a Dagger here. Gotta keep the Murlocs down. Well, that was a slow turn from him. Take a dude we can play, I guess. And I think it's pretty important against Murloc Paladin to keep the dagger up, so we'll pass on the Razor Petal Volley for this turn. I don't want to play this guy without a dude in my hand, but I think I'm going to. I'll just get a thing on the board that can smack his dudes around. And really, the plus one plus one is not that good on most of the minions in my deck. Like, yeah, it's okay, but if I'm playing Malagos, he's probably just dying or playing a quality on it anyway. Same with Yogg. Arcane Giants are at a point where plus one plus one doesn't really affect their stats too much. So it looks like he is a slower Paladin. I can respect that. So we'll just eviscerate this guy and punch him in the face. I actually have a shitload of damage in my hand if I draw Malagos. Like, I can't play Malagos this turn, obviously. But I could Malagos Razor Petal for 10, coin another Razor Petal, and prep out and Eviscerate, which is, what, like 21 damage, I think? Could even backstab something that same turn. Have a coin if I pick up another Razor Petal. I think if he stayed at 27, a Razor Petal plus a Malagos would actually be lethal. But I guess we have to play the Auctioneer. I got the best deal Let's use the Backstab. 
very unexciting preparation. Since I don't have anything to use with it. There's Yogg. Yeah, let's just keep drawing cards, I guess. If I draw my Arcane Giant, I think I can play it. I'm just guessing. I don't think I want to backstab my guy. Like, yeah, he's probably going to True Silver into it anyway, but the backstab helps activate the Edwin, helps with the Vile Spine Slayer. I can play it in the same turn as Yogg if I need to. Unfortunately, I'm kind of reliant on Burgly Bully for Malagos Synergy at this point, because I just burned both my preps, both my counterfeit coins. But I did get to draw like 12 cards that turn or something ridiculous, so probably worth. Let's just Vile Spine this guy. It's not the biggest thing in his deck, but it's pretty close. Alright, um, I do have a fan for that. Probably will play the fan here. I can even play Thalnos with it. Good Thalnos backstab fan, that would let me clear. Could also just make these trades. Backstab fan dagger. I only have seven cards left in my deck, damn. Well, I don't mind drawing with the Thalnos, I guess. So we'll go for the Thalnos line of play. There's Maligos. Let's just play an 8-8 Edwin here, I guess. A lot of times it probably just gets a quality, but 8-8 is about as small as I can make it while still forcing him to a quality. I think that's fine. Also, I have four Razor Petals that I'll probably have access to this game, and I still have both of my Burgly Bullies with one in hand. So I might be able to do a pretty good amount of damage with Maligos. That's a strong Primordial Drake. I'm not even on 10 mana yet, and I have 4 cards left in my deck. That's insane. Start with Swashburglar. Lost in the jungle is a little bit underwhelming. Do I play around Noble Sack or Getaway Coda Redemption? Or I guess just Redemption? I think it's not very often Noble Sacrifice here. Redemption, so now I can dagger into that if I'd like. Probably go for Hallucination, Burgly Bully Dagger. I think Consecration makes a lot of sense. I have seven cards in my hand, so if he thinks he's hot shit making me overdraw here, he's gonna give me three coins, which would be sufficient with Malagos. Pretty decent Sun Keeper. Is War Leader better than having just Hero Powered before playing Terum? This actually is a little bit awkward. I'm so tempted to just play Yogg. Probably wrong though. I think Consecration makes a lot of sense. I could dagger the War Leader, trade two into this, one into this. Could play an Arcane Giant behind that. Probably just Consecration here. Really don't like trading off my burgly bully. I think I have to though. Oh, why didn't I play my razor petal volley? I really thought I was out of mana for some reason. That was so bad. Well, even if I draw the kobold, I will still have mana for volley plus all the razor petals. Which would be... Only 9 damage. Lethal with an Arcane Giant. I only need 2 coins out of the Burgly Bully, so... If I can play it into an Equality Consecration, that's actually good enough. Oh, 
Oh god, don't make me play Yogg here. Stealth. I did draw the Kobold, but I don't think it's quite lethal. I think I have to play Yogg or Malagos here. There's a very good chance I die next turn if I don't. Let's play Yogg, keep the Malagos dream alive. That's bad. Okay, so far this has been a terrible Yogg Saron. Taunts are nice. Shiv is not bad. Please don't naturalize one of my things. Fuck. Oh my god. I'm almost out of car. Here we go. I didn't attack with this. I'm out of cards. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. What did I just play? I don't even fucking know. Please the 10-10. Okay, that's still a hex. Oh, not the Megasaur. Okay. This is not good. With the Shiv pickup though, my Malagos does 12 damage next turn, for whatever that's worth. Could actually be a huge deal that I missed the three with my Arcane Giant that turn. I didn't miss Lethal, did I? Because I took so long. I think my weapon did seven that turn. I could have put a Cold Blood on the Arcane Giant and shivved him. I think I was one off Lethal if I played everything fast. <laughs> oh no, it's got Ancestral Spirit on it. We good. Okay, I won, I think. Unless I'm taking 8 fatigue. Holy shit, that was scary. I actually can't even play Shiv with Malagos because I'll overdraw and die. Or not overdraw, but fatigue. Oh my god. That was stressful.